average profile, low level, was able to and that was a high end. Okay, that was a high end. Well, some people say high angle is not good for ultimate chemical. But high angle case, you can see the chin projection actually is not too much. The chin to length, the, to, the chin to length means the distance from the chin to the, to the neck. And that distance actually isn't, isn't too much. So if you reject low this, this profile will be So interorally, you see track three and uh, uh, open body and Cross by and I also had up uh, until uh, a crowding number 15 and number 25 was missing. The upper arch was narrow. So that was C scan. You see, crack three, many good prognosticism, but it's high. I think most of you maybe put this patient in surgery. But anyway, the patient he didn't want to have surgery. So, uh, our plan because after already have missing two premolars <coughs> and we didn't have choice, so we want to do non surgical orthodox orthodox camouflage, then we remove number 34 and 44 and also use the case to help us to retract the lower incisors. And again, uh, we align them and remove the premolar and then maximize everything of course. So you want to have Liver arms, car chain, you want to have liver horn arch as well. So when you see both of them, they are maximized and face the lower. And uh, I also sometimes also use the uh, the trap elastic, which is no good, to be honest with you. It's a high end, right? And also trap elastic, you have two low incisors. But anyway, because at the same time, I had even two liver arms. And, and also, when I do apply trap elastic, that's one thing, you see, in upper, you see, I do not have TPA in upper. So when I apply craft elastic, the buckle piece will move out. So that gives the patient a broader arch and, and also a broader smile. So low space closure uh, completed and uh, the, the post of course by having uh, corrected. And you see, I keep going all the time, keep going for the lower inside the intrusion. And after treatment, I think the fight is very nice. The profile, okay. <laughs> then the lip becomes improved, but still have a little bit because I am. And the mechanism that we're using is not easy. Well, then you said, Dr. Leo, then you have to insure the upper, uh, into the upper and lower molars so that the manual can have other rotation. Mm -hmm. The open back patient that we have learned is high angle, you want to decrease the, the angle, so you have to ensure more of your face. Don't do this in class with patients. If you do, the, you do, it, do this, manual rotate up more, what gonna happen is the chin for projection become more. You do this in class two patients. But you don't get too more in class three open by patient. In class one, either way. In class two, yes, in two. Class three, no. Because you got water in the profile. The patient smile, I think the smile is better. Upper incisor showing good, but not that good. Okay, the lower incisor showing still too much. Well, I think I showed a big example. Since high angle, it's hard to avoid low incisor showing in this case. Take your profile, I think the lip parts are improved. Okay? And most like, because the lip becomes uh, improved so that the, the muscle, the, the metabolic strength became less. So the chin protection in nature becomes improved. So when you superimpose, you can see, yeah, actually the chin went backward a little bit. And there's a little bit of downward and backward rotation of the mandible and there's a retraction of the low density. Okay, this is all what we plan. The upper dentitions 